y'all for tuning back in to your favorite channel, Pelican Bay Dog Talk and News. Giving it to you fair and unbiased like I always say. Some gonna like it, some ain't. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit them likes up before you get up out of here. Don't forget to hit them. If you want to, you know, so you don't, you know, your memory bad or something, go ahead and hit it now. You know, go ahead and hit it now. Don't forget to get up in them comments and appreciate all my fellas and ladies for the comments in the past. You know what I'm saying? Today we got to get up in that dog news. We got to get up in that dog news for the day. Hope everybody having a good Friday. You know, uh, a good productive day. Shout out to all my Bulldogs, man, from the north to the south to the east to the west. Shout out to my Bulldogs across the world. Shout out to my Bulldogs in Ireland over there holding it down, man. I see y'all, man. Shout out to you. Shout out to my Bulldogs in Africa as well. Shout out to my Bulldogs in Europe, like I always say, and Asia. You know, we're going to get into it today, man. We're going to get into it today. First, I want to say, um, uh, oh, I do want to say this. Uh, I told y'all before, man, but I'm going to tell you again, this is a good company to to, you know, um, get your animal needs from, all the things you need for us. They got everything you need, you know. You call you call Animal Revival and tell them you want a uh, free magazine, you know what I'm saying. They'll send you four magazines a year, you know, one for each season. Um, and they have the website as well. They got everything in there, man, from stuff you need when your dog's pregnant, for um, vitamins, um, Anything you can think of, you know, of scissors, stitches, uh, rabies shots, but you can't order the rabies shots to your house. You have to order them to the vet and, you know, through a vet or whatever. But, uh, man, they got everything you can think of for a dog in that, you know, in that uh, website and in this magazine. And the magazine is totally free. Like I said, um, it's called Revival Animal Health. Revival Animal Health. So check it out, man. All right. But next, we're going to get into something, man. I was checking it out. This video, a lot of you may have seen this video, but it's a reason I'm showing this video. Um, it's not to show the fight, because we're about to see uh, a dog fight on the side of the road. The point of this video, me showing this video, is the spread of awareness when it comes to breaking up these dogs from fighting or accidents happen in times like that, you know, because... When an accident happens, you can be the most seasoned dog, man, it is. But when an accident like that happens, just broad daylight, middle of the side of the road, your dog done grab some little dog or some big dog, it's super hard to stop them kind of fights like that, you know. Brothers who out here doing it in the boxes, the squares, or whatever, it's easy to break them up. It's hard to break the dog up that just run up on your dog on the, on the corner somewhere and, or your dog get loose and go out there and hit the neighbor dog or something. It's hard to break them fights up. So that's why I'm showing this video right here. This is what you don't do, you know, if the fight happens. You know what I'm saying? This is what you don't do. Now, as you look at this fight go on, the main thing I'm telling anybody who get in this situation, the guy who's standing by the head, the guy who's closest, to the dog's head, standing over the dogs, he's in risk of getting bit. You know what I'm saying? You see how he's sticking his fingers all around the dog head? He's in risk right now of losing his hand or losing his finger. Just off of when the dog let go, the dog grab another bite. The dog's going to grab another bite, and he's going to accidentally grab your hand with that power that he was trying to grab that dog with. You know? And it's going to hurt real, real bad. You know, if you don't lose that hand. So to anybody that needs to break up a fight, water is not going to help. You know, you can pour all the water you want to pour on the dogs. It's not going to help. Every now and then they might let go for the water. But just your, just your luck when you're out there in the street somewhere and it goes down like that and it's an emergency, the water is not going to help. Beating the dog is not going to help. You're only going to hurt your hand. You're going to realize sooner than later that that pit bull, hand, um, pit bull head is hard as stone. You know, so when you punching and all that, it's not going to let it go. And you're going to end up with a hurt hand. It might not hurt right that second. You're going to be hurting after you get that dog broke up. You're like, oh, man, my hand hurting. You know what I'm saying? My hand hurting. Um, but, yeah, man, that's why I say folks need to be mandatory when you have these kind of dogs that keep breaking sticks on you. There's only one way to stop these dogs easily and humanely. It's with a breaking stick. The same stick that they say is a dog fighting utensil. It's not a dog fighting utensil. It's a dog mandatory uh, piece of equipment for any dog 
of a bull breed. Now, real quick before we get into the other dog news, shout out to all my Pit Island, shout out to all my big giant folk out there, you know what I'm saying? I seen y'all boys on the message board, you know what I'm saying? It's Big John, Little John line for me all day, you know. Uh, real Red Boy Jocko, man. See, this deal, shout out to Pitt Island. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. You can't compare the two, you know. We got one group who's not focused on one line of dogs, and we got another group who mastered a line of one line of dogs, you know what I'm saying, compared to a group who got three, four, five different lines but they just, their name is well known. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell y'all boys uh, about the Garner stuff. All right, when you say Pitt Island, are you thinking about one and two dogs? No. They got numerous dogs in that, in that line. You can't compare them to the masters of a breed, of, of a line. You know what I'm saying? That, that master, they line. You, you can't compare that. It's, it's different. You know what I'm saying? That's why I tell brothers, you know, you got to stay in your lane. No matter how big you is, somebody will break you down to your size. You know what I'm saying? Somebody will break you down. There's always somebody a tad bit bigger than you. You know what I'm saying? Like they say. Uh, so, Pitt Island, great dogs. You know what I'm saying? Great dogs. But they ain't got the master degrees on them Red Boy Jocko dogs. You know what I'm saying? They ain't got the master degrees on them Red Boy Jocko dogs. You know, so it is. What it is, like I always tell you, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my brothers with the Pit Island. Shout out to all my brothers with the Big John stuff. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, it's all about consistency. Consistency, consistency. And then that master and the boy mastered it. They just figured out how to keep it consistent. I don't know about the Pit Island stuff. I see some great dogs out there off the Pit Island stuff. I got some J.D. Hall got Pit Island in quarter of them. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I don't step with confidence. I don't step with the same kind of confidence I step with the Big John stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's all about consistency. Consistency. Yeah, he got one, but how about the one after him? How about the one after him? How about the one after him or before him? You know, it is what it is, man. We talking about comparing somebody who ain't quite sure what they want to run comparing to somebody who know what the hell they want to run. You know what I'm saying? And know what the hell they run it and stuck on what they run it. Hey, can't do it, man. You can't do it. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know, it's levels to this shit. It's levels to it. PBK nines. I'm going to tell you like it is, man. I'm going to tell you like it is. It is what it is. It's levels to it, and everybody ain't on that level yet. You know what I'm saying? Because they're your favorite dog, man, don't mean they on that level. You know what I'm saying? Because they're your favorite dog, man, don't mean they on that level. Now, my brothers, we going to move on to some more dog news. You know what I'm saying? It's been almost a month, going on two months, you know what I'm saying, that I didn't have any dog fighting news, you know what I'm saying, as far as dog fighting butts, you know. Now, we're here, April the 21st, 2023, you know what I'm saying, I got some dog fighting news for you. Let's go to Rocky Mount, North Carolina, where a brother, you know, was charged with pit bull fighting. You know what I'm saying? Brother was charged with pit bull fighting. No, not too many. Uh, not too. No, not they're not saying exactly what all they got from the house or why they investigated the sit scenario. They just said they found evidence of dog fighting, which I know that means you know anything that you have in your damn yard, you know to help your dog or to play with your dog or just. Pay, Basically, anything that you have outside of the dog himself and damn dog food is considered dog fighting utensils when you got a pit bull. If it ain't the bowl of dog food in the water and the dog, anything else you have, you know, it's basically going to say, oh, that was evidence for dog fighting. See, what they said what it appears to be evidence for dog fighting. See, I keep telling y'all, man, we can't go to school for 12 years and act like we can't comprehend what words mean. Listen here, man. Listen, I'm talking to any tree hugger, anybody out there, whoever looking at this video, let me ask you, the word appears. What the word appears mean? It doesn't mean is. He appears to be holding a gun. Is he holding a gun? He appears to be a homosexual. Is he a homosexual? He appears to be a gangster. Is he a gangster? Appears don't mean is. Appears don't mean he's committing. You know what I'm saying? It appears. Appears. You know what I'm saying? He appears to be 
hollering at my girlfriend? Is he hollering at your girlfriend? He appears to be um, messing with my homeboy. You got to go over there. Yo, man, he messing with you. He bothered. You got to figure it out. Is he bothering you? You know what I'm saying? Appears is different, man. This game is screwed up, man. This game is screwed up. And media, media. I'm the media outlet for the pit bulls to, to straighten this stuff up. When they put these pit bull stuff out here and they put in all kind of little codes and stuff in your articles, you know, to make you look bad. You know what I'm saying? And, and don't even really have evidence or really a uh, right to go bother a brother. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it appears Pelican Bay is dog fighting. It appears I'm dog fighting. You either going to tell me I am or you either going to tell me I ain't. It ain't no appears to be in it. You know what I'm saying? Appears just get you investigated until to see if you is or if you ain't. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no such thing as being charged. It is, but it shouldn't be no such thing as getting charged for appears to be something. You know what I'm saying? Hell no, man. How, it appears. You mean to tell me y'all coming over here for something because it appears to be? Okay, come, now come look. Come look and tell me if it is or if it ain't. You know what I'm saying? All I got to say, man, let's get to the video. A man from the east is behind bars charged with animal cruelty, dog fighting, and baiting. Authorities say baiting is used when a weaker animal is used to bait to train fighting dogs as well as help make them more vicious. Rocky Mount Police said following a complaint, they arrested Ryan Taylor after they say that they discovered evidence of animal cruelty and dog fighting at his residence at 761 Eagles Terrace. Police say they seized eight dogs. Taylor is in the Nash County Jail under a $60,000 secured bond. But like I always say, man, shout out to all my bulldogs, you know what I'm saying? I got to keep it 100 with you, got to keep it real with you. PDK9 is going to give it to you raw, uncut, fair, and unbiased. Like I always say, man, like I always say, you know, this thing ain't easy to do. You know, everybody ain't going to do it, but somebody got to do it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, somebody got to uh, speak. Uh, how many people is speaking positive about these dogs for these dogs you know what i'm saying willing to stand up for these dogs you know what i'm saying all that other stuff is, is nice and dandy you know what i'm saying all that other stuff is nice and dandy we get folk out here talking about starting a team doing this doing that doing this doing that you know oh that's all good and dandy if you want to start a team of, of, of pit bull brothers but the thing is how many pit bull brothers got knocked off in the last six months that these brothers talking about teams is trying to help you know what I'm saying? We talking about teams, but nobody trying to help these brothers who get knocked off. You know what I'm saying? Where the lawyers at for these brothers to get knocked off? You know? I'm pinpointing and showing you um, what's going on. You no. Know? So that's why I tell you, man. That's why I tell you. When it comes to the dogs, you got to watch your kennel. Worry about your kennel as far as, because uh, at the end of the day, when you tied up, if I know if Pelican Bay went out there and did some B BS and got you no, know, um, and some illegal stuff, and I got hemmed up and had to go to jail, it ain't nobody going to come help Pelican Bay, the dog community. It, you know, you got to fend for yourself out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Worry about as far as uh, somebody going to help you with the pits, man. Listen here, man. You got to go right with that thing. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know, folk talk a good game. You know what I'm saying? But it's, it's easy to talk that. Then be about that. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to talk that than be about that. You know, I ain't living in the far in the middle of nowhere or nothing like that where nobody don't see my piss. I'm in the middle of the city. You know what I'm saying? Talking that talk because I'm about that walk. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. PBK nines, man. If you ain't going to stick up for these dogs, don't sideways talk it. Don't fake it. Don't halfway do it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't playing no games out here, man. We ain't playing no games out here, man. There's too many brothers taking L's. Too many brothers um, going down. Doing dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? Brothers ain't going to say nothing about it, you know what I'm saying? Too many folk doing bullshit, you know what I'm saying, and trying to hide behind brothers who ain't doing the bullshit. That's why I say, man, I got to draw the line, you know what I'm saying? The brothers who getting railroaded and and just getting their dogs took because it appears to be some bullshit, then I got to rock with you, you know what I'm saying? But the ones who out here getting caught up doing that, I ain't talking about y'all. Y'all in y'all own lane, you know what I'm saying? Do what y'all do. You know, it is what it is, man. I can care less about that. You know, it is what it is. Hey, at the end of the day, man, we ain't faking for the camera. We ain't buying no robot. Shout, shout out to all my dog men out there with them channels, man. They got them small channels from me to anybody. You know, the smaller than me to anybody. You know, they got more viewers than me, more subscribers than me to anybody. 
Shout out to all the bulldog channels that ain't using robots, that ain't using fake views, that ain't using fake likes, that ain't using fake comments and all that stuff. Shout out to all my bulldogs, man. No matter how small your channel is, shout out to you that you trying to get organic stuff. Because believe me, organic views is a whole lot better than fake ones. They can have the fake ones, but organic ones, you get real life people commenting, real life people telling you about what's what. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all my bulldogs and all my YouTubers that use organic Organic likes, views, subscribers, everything, man. Shout out to all my bulldogs. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stay safe out there. Y'all stay legal out there. PBK nice. Giving it to you the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Raw and uncut. Now, you know what I'm saying? Raw and uncut. Who you know give it to you raw and um, raw to me and, uh, and uncut like me? You know what I'm saying? And I ain't worried about taking no ass whipping. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to shut my mouth up. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to shut up when I feel like shutting up. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know, like I tell you, a lot of them talk, a lot of them ain't about shit, you know what I'm saying? If I don't believe you about shit, you, hey, at the end of the day, man, at the end of the day, if if you really about something in these dogs, you're going to understand what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? You're going to understand, you're going to feel what I'm talking about. If you're out there, if, if I touch you, touch, uh, ruffle your feathers and, 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 you know, touch some points and, and you feel like I'm talking to you, you know, if the shoe fit, wear it. That's how this old saying goes, right? The shoe fit where, man. It is what it is. Hey, at the end of the day, like I say, the, the good in these dogs going to rise and the, and, the, and the bad in these dogs going to fall. Like the man said a long time ago, the swamps going to be the swamps. You know what I'm saying? The man ain't lying, man. The swamps is the swamps. You know what I'm saying? You got brothers who bulldogging for real, and I'm talking about legally wise, who out here taking care of these dogs, doing the right thing with these dogs, making these dogs look good. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, treating these dogs the way they're supposed to be treated, having these dogs looking the way they're supposed to look. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Then you got the swamps. You know what I'm saying? The swamps. The brothers that brag about rolling on Facebook. The brothers who talk about meet me here, meet me there on Facebook. The brothers who talk about how what, what weights they got on Facebook. The brothers who talk about um, uh, they, they, they got the, the, the... Listen, man, you know what the swamps is. I ain't got to keep going with it. You know what I'm saying? You know what the swamps is. You know, and it's plain and obvious to see, you know, if you don't want to say, oh, it's a dirty side of the dog game and a clean side of the dog game. And when I say dirty side, I mean folk who just reckless, you know what I'm saying? They just reckless. They don't care. They act like they care, but they don't care. You know, a, fo a, a person would rather say something ignorant and dumb out their mouth than, you know, keep it real. Keep it 100. You know what I'm saying? Keep it 100. So I definitely ain't going to hold y'all up too long, man. Y'all stay safe, like I said earlier. You know what I'm saying? Keep bulldogging. For my folk over there in Ireland, holler at me, holler at me, folk. You know what I'm saying? To my folk over there in Africa, peace to you, brother. You know what I'm saying? All my people in America, all my people in the U.S., all my people in Mexico, you know what I'm saying? All my people in Mexico, you know? It is what it is. All my people in South America, it is what it is. All the way from Conway, South Cac, to Bogota, Colombia. You know what I'm saying? PBK nines, giving it to you. We going full steam ahead. You know what I'm saying? Like an 18-wheeler, like my boy Pro say. Like a drunk driver driving an 18-wheeler. With, with You can't see out of uh, uh, one of his eyes. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I had that little part at the end, bro. I had that little part at the end. I couldn't figure out the rest of the stuff he said. But shout out to all my people, man. Shout out to all the Bulldogs. Y'all have a good time. Y'all stay safe. I'm out, PBK nines. Yeah.